Kia ora team, welcome back to the Flutter here on the 25th of March 2022. My name is Carl Tiley, joined here by my good friend Patrick. Patrick, how are you mate? Very well, thank you Carl, as always. Ready for a big, big weekend of Ooh, yeah. racing yeah. and I say racing and rugby. R- we finally got free. rugby back, yeah. <laughs> just racing and sport. Uh, if you are new to the Flutter, it looks like a couple of new names in the, in the uh, comments there. Welcome. Uh, we're a show where we like to look at different uh, TRB products, some sporting and racing events around the world, and, and Pat and I will try and give you some advice and tip you into some winners, give you the best uh, out of your betting experience. This is, of course, a, an interactive show. We like to have questions, field some questions, some comments. Uh, we field beef. We give beef. Um, we're open to anything, really. But, yeah, leave a comment, uh, and if we call it out, or call your name out and, and let you know. We'll, we'll give you a $10 bonus bet. Um, what else? I think that, pre- yeah. that probably covers yeah. it for the newbies, mm. uh, for the sickos. Welcome back. Um, Patrick, I will hand over to you for all the promos. All right, here we go. Obviously, bonus back blitz tomorrow at Tauranga, Rickerton, Rose Hill, and Mornington. Bonus back on the first four races at each of those. But before that, to get you warmed up for the weekend, we've got a mini bonus back blitz today. Palmy Dogs, Addington, and Alexandra Park Harness, and then the Valley tonight. Thank first you. two races at each of those meetings. Also bonus back. You got the usual bonus back and same game claim on every Super Rugby, NRL, and A League match over the weekend. Also, two games of basketball same game claim each day at the moment cricket world cup bonus back still going strong uh, another big card of ufc featuring kaikara france on sunday so we've got a ufc main card bonus back for that as well as the multi-buster and then all your other multi-busters overball racing football american sport and of course f1 bonus back again as we head to judah this weekend so. plenty there plenty there love it plenty of love for the warriors in the comments already i love that love that we will get to the Warriors shortly um, but we've got uh, we've also got Flutter bonus back back this we week we do we're back um, when no Patrick gets you a bonus bet for the what Patrick turns some cash into a bonus bet for you yeah big time Elsa last week unlucky fifth uh, never in it though I'll start I'm going Grey's Dogs again I'm going Palmy North race three so race one and two normal bonus back Race three, you'll get bonus back on the dog in the one box. Big time grenade, 220 at the moment. Uh, should win this race as long as they can jump and beat the two uh, to the rail. The two big time Navy loves the rail. So, yeah, as long as grenade gets out quick, should be winning 220. Pat, what do you got? I'm heading to Albury, Gold Cup Day, out in uh, central New South Wales there, and uh, going with Entente. Look, the, the recent form figures aren't a pretty read. There's been some uh, <laughs> <Good start. laughs> some not not great runs, but he, he doesn't do wet tracks. It's just it's just a no-go for him. So gets out of Sydney and avoids the rain for once, and usually gets better at later into his preps as well. His last two runs on a good, he ran second in a monophilia by a head in the Metrop, and then won a group three the run before. So goes pretty well on on the good stuff um, gets that here today should be able to go forward and turn it into a real staying test and I can't see any of them running him down should be good for at least a bonus bet there but like $5 for the win really good price for quality horse in a weaker field nice nice uh, remember how I mentioned we, we like beef Tiffany's given it to me yes they all jump out of the box but it, I mean who can Not jump always. who can jump faster and get the rail just like this here comes the one dog on this race sorry <laughs> <laughs> Let's. Uh, we're going to do things a bit differently this week. Here comes the one. No, five over the top. Um, that wasn't my race. Just it's, there's Addington. Um, bit different this week. We will look at racing now, just quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is plenty of racing happening, but we've got plenty of other stuff to get through. Uh, we promised NBA last week, so we're talking NBA later on. We've got NRL, rugby, uh, Formula One. So we'll start with racing. Should we just get tips? Straight to tips. Yeah, right. That yeah. makes it easy for me. Best. Uh, Anavista and the Emancipation through 20. All right. I've got Marabi tonight, the Valley. $1.75. <laughs> Love Marabi. Uh, if you need any uh, reason why, 7 from 7, rated very highly. 4 from 4, track and distance. Uh, the clear top favourite tonight. Just, just a great, great horse. $1.75 seems... Yeah. I don't think they'll jump at that. Yeah, no, it'll be more like yeah. a Once they've watched the first couple of races, and yeah. if, they, if they can't come from behind, she'll yeah, she'll get short. Uh, next, 
Your next best, sorry. Uh, next best, uh, Palmetto down at Rickard in race four, bonus back race. Nice. Grand Rose Hill race six tomorrow. Uh, number 11, our Playboy, 380. Uh, loves the work, good draw. Mm. Good race last time out. Uh, Ruffy. I uh, like the value of She's Ideal, 10 bucks in the Tancred. Very frustrating horse to follow, but was half a length of very elegant two starts ago. R- ran in the Melbourne Cup, has the class. If she runs to her best, she can win this. Alrighty. Uh, I've just seen, I'm just about to sh- I'll shout out Monty Reedy in the comments. Mm-hmm. You can have our first $10 bonus beat, Monty. He's going Race 1 Valley tonight. Able Willie to mow them down. Well, I'm going the same race uh, for my Ruffy. Number 6, Ice Pick Nick at $7. <laughs> Uh, had a very arrogant win last time out. Extra hundred will help him. Um, Got to take on those those couple of Waller runners, but there's a chance. Mm. So me and you, Monty, going head to head. Um, let's give out a couple of bonus bets, eh? Before we, I'll give one to Callum Waller, giving a bit of love to North Macedonia for knocking Italy out of the World Cup this morning. That was great scenes in Skopje there. So. Yeah, definitely have a ten dollar bonus bet for that. But I wouldn't be rushing to put it on Portugal like you suggest. Don't write off North Macedonia after what we saw this morning. Wow. I've got no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds in- intense. Football World Cup. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I'll give one to Bryce Severinson too, likes to fibrillate in the Mornington Cup. Oh he's asking us, sorry. Good each way value. Uh pass. Pat? D- Mornington any, Cup. Yeah, any comments on defibrillate? Yeah, I mean, I backed it last. Was it two starts ago when it ran very well? It's a good horse. It's yeah, I think it's certainly capable of winning. I would not be backing Pondus at that price after we saw his one good run every six last start. So you get it. You're getting massive unders for Pondus. Bit around it. Crystal Pegasus is a good horse, but I think defibrillate can definitely beat it. There you go. Easy. All righty. Let's get into NRL. Mm. Dragon Shark last night. Go the Sharkies. Nico Hines, very good player. <laughs> very good rugby league player. Um, I yeah, I was all over the Dragons on uh, the advantage line. Not to be. Did get the overs up, though, in the rain, which was very <laughs> yeah, surprising. I, very I surprising. Was about 30 minutes in when it was looked like Wellington there. I was mm. feeling very good about the unders, but yeah, the Sharks just too good. Yeah. Um, anyone apart from Nico Hines stand out? Or just a, a poor dream. Um, well, performance. Telekai was awesome on it. Was. Like, just, just goes to show the four depth the Sharks have got. Like, we've got Wade Graham and yeah. um, Wilton out, and he's their fourth choice edge essentially. He's running over guys all night. Yeah, I think yeah. Well, McInnes is still working his way back to full fitness. That pack's going to be pretty Im- impressive once they get everyone there. And Hines, obviously, he looks the goods. So. Yeah. yeah. The Dragons' defense late was very mm. questionable, which is concerning going forward. But anyway, uh, I've got a question. We put a video up. Pat and I had a quick chat last night uh, in the event. For those of you who saw it, we said if we read anyone's comment out from that uh, little thread there, you get a $20 bonus bet. So I've picked one. Uh, Mackenzie Smith had a question to Mm. us based on the NRL. Do the Brisbane Broncos make the eight and push for a semi-final place? Promising signs with Reynolds at the helm and Haas chewing up the metres for fun. Young team with plenty of upside for the future. So, Mackenzie, you can have a $20 bonus bet for that one. Uh, Patrick, yeah. yours, yours please. I mean, there's two spots up for grabs in the eight, I think. You can one. sort of pencil in the top six, and then you've got the, the Bunnies. Yes, I said the Bunnies. The Broncos, the Knights, maybe the Raiders and the Titans fighting it out for the last two. Have you got the Warriors in the top six? Um if you look at the mark here, they're a bit further down okay. before you get to them. But okay. I'm trying not. Okay. To, I'm trying to be positive, Carl. It's <laughs> new, new day, new Patrick. But yeah, I think the, the Broncos have looked as good as anyone. There, the, they've seemed to have got the de- defense sorted, which is you know, and I think they'll only get better as they get more used to each other. And Reynolds mm. gets gets used to the players. Tony Staggs learns how to put down the ball when he's across the line. Not that I had been on a score try or anything, but yeah, no, I think they'll. Uh, They'll be there or thereabouts. They seem to play hard for Kivy as well. He might not be a tactical mastermind, but he's got them playing hard, which is half the battle. So they've got plenty of talent. They'll, I think they'll be in the battle. Uh, yeah, I think they're, they're certainly the last spot of the eight is anyone's for the taking. Yeah, there'll be a few in that mm. seventh to mm. tenth or eleventh all, all vying for those those final two points. Um, yeah, I don't know. They haven't... Yes, uh, what, two from two, but they haven't been convincing wins. Um, they've only conceded a lot. Three tries in two games. Though, so, defensively, yeah. mm. defensively very good. Uh, yeah, I need to see more from the Broncos, but I agree. The Re- Reynolds, I said at the start of the season, he's the best buy of the season, mm. and and the biggest loss for the Bunnies. You can see that after what I've seen for the first two weeks, they'll probably 
be well, I'm keener to take the two twenty for the Knights to make the eight than the Broncos, but mm. that doesn't rule them out. Yeah, Knights, that's mm. a seems a long season. It it's is a long season. Yeah. We're only two games in, mm. folks. Don't just just calm down. Speaking of two games in, tonight. There's only two games. It's only two games. <laughs> it feels like it's been yeah. a season already. Uh plenty of love and hate for the Warriors in the comments here. Um so let's preview it. Warriors taking the Tigers uh, on tonight. Warriors dollar seventy three, I think, still. Yeah, about that. Uh, Tigers two dollars something. The Warriors cannot lose this game. Oh no, he's can doubling they? down on it. I'm doubling down. They cannot lose this game. I mean, they can't. Like, I think the Warriors are a better team than the Tigers. They have got better players, especially a better forward pack. I think they'll they'll win this game. But you'll catch me wearing a Man City shirt before you'll catch me back in the Warriors as favourites. <laughs> I love to hear you guys. I can see a few comments coming through already, but Thomas Jonathan, ten dollar bonus bet. Warriors win the season. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I. They can't lose. They just can't. And if they do, what do you want me to do? I buy. It. Should we put a kebab on it? No, because I think they're going to win. Okay. It's not taking the price. <laughs> if they lose, I will buy you a kebab. I mean, yeah, sure. The Warriors yeah, will not lose. I'll, I'll let that happen. The Warriors will not lose. Um, what else is happening? Oh, hang on. I've, I've even got some stats to back this up. Mm-hmm. They've won the last three. Uh, between, they've won the last three against the Tigers. Mm-hmm. Average winning margin, though, only four points. So if you're a bonus back punter, one to 12 yeah. could be the player. I think it might be. I feel like it's a game that's either going to be 10 to 8 or 40 two to 40 like, yes. it could go either way definitely and it shock but it would be tight yeah, yeah. It's, I mean Sydney you know conditions aren't great there at the moment but yeah. no, neither of these teams can really tackle anyone so yeah uh, and if you are a Warriors punter and are yet to get involved with our Warriors top 8 bonus back offer you still can you've got to the end of round 4 you're actually getting a much better price now than Warriors you were two weeks ago 525 now mm. I would have thought they would blow out a bit more after uh, the loss last week but only 25 mm. cents that just shows the, the bookies are scared they know they're coming I mean they should have won that game they should have like, <laughs> if we're looking at expected points or but some sort of stat I'm sure they would have come out on top <laughs> if you don't know what the offer is uh, back the Warriors to make the 8 and if they finish 9th to 15th uh, you'll get your money back as a bonus bet up to $50 basically don't run last um, Xavier Xavier Brom hang on the comments coming in too mm. fast yeah. Our forward pack is stronger than the Tigers, so the slop will be good for AFB and Lodge up the middle. Yep. Yeah, That's I don't great. like if it does turn into a grind, they've, they've got the better forward pack, so that yep. does help. But no Hastings either. He's been their Tigers' best mm. player. Um, but that's a very relative term, you know, low bars and oh, things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Xavier, you can have $10 mm. bonus bet. Uh, Riley Hamilton, Egan, anytime try scorer, 750 he scored two, his last two, two games. Two games two scoring two. streak. Riley, you can have $10 bonus bet. Whack it on Egan. Um, Not worries related, but Jamie Woods with uh, some nice greyhound mail in the comments there. That's definitely worth a $10 bonus bet, Jamie. Yeah, nice. Uh, and Joel Beatty's been beating on the drums for the Tigers. Big fan. Uh, sorry, but the Warriors are losing. Tigers will be up for this game for sure. They are getting hammered in the media, but they're weak. <laughs> Joel, if the Tigers lose, you have to buy me a kebab. How about that? Um, what other games are you looking forward to this week? The, uh, there's the, a couple of good ones. The, the late game tonight. tonight yeah. yeah, the few little storylines around that. But um, uh, Bathurst tomorrow afternoon, five o'clock, top of the table clash. The, this is so gross. That's great. <laughs> it's not the, the <laughs> Clearless Panthers taking on the Knights. I reckon it's going to be really good. I just can't get behind the Knights. Yeah, so I just don't. Ponga don't back. Do it for me. Dane Gagai. Good, he, good does fan- he's, he's, he does it for my fantasy. Yeah, he's um, a little under it. You're talking about the bunnies. Reynolds is the one getting all the storylines. He's a very. Under, yeah. he saw the way their left edge was not clicking last yeah. Thursday night. He's yeah. They'll feel that loss as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm like I'm looking forward to the storm eels. Mm. Um, probably get a better gauge on where the eels are at, but I think and the storm too. A couple of big key out. Harry Grant out. Be interesting to see if the cheese comes back or not early. Yeah, um, yeah. Warriors, uh, Storm have got a very good record over the Eels. Mm. 
uh, at home as well. So, and they're also manly dogs. Not like the most exciting game, but just excited to see where manly are at. This could be their uh, their awakening for the season. <laughs> if there's anything that's going to spark you awake, the yeah. the bulldogs, the Cuban coffee of the NRL. Yep. Uh, let's go with betting. Mm -hmm. Best bet for the NRL. Uh, it is in the Warriors game tonight, Ooh. and it's not on a Warrior. David Nofaluma to score a try, $2.10. Yeah, I can uh, see that. Right-wingers have a good try score record against the Warriors the first two weeks. Yes. Yep, I could get behind that. <laughs> Why don't we chuck Roberts in there as well? <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to storm minus four and a half against the Eels. Mm -hmm. um, they won five of the last six against the Eels at home. Average margin, sorry, and eight of their last 11 total. Average margin of those games, 30. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see. Uh, value bet? I'm going Eels 1-12. to 12. Okay. Uh, The Storm, yeah, they didn't look great against the Bunnies, and they, they could be playing their fourth or fifth choice hooker, yep. which be a real issue. So, if, yeah, there's a bit of... Who, who will probably, be, probably be a national representative at some point in his career. Well, yeah, but, <laughs> like, obviously losing your first three dummy halves is going to yep. hurt a team. I think yep. the they Eels, the losing to the Sharks at home is not going to be a bad loss when everything comes out in the wash so maybe yep. we're overrating that loss a little bit getting 360 for the 1 to 12 you've obviously got bonus back in play and I'm just they're not beating the storm by 13 plus at home so yep. yeah 360 is a Rich price. Martin is with you mm. Rich you have 10 little bonus bet Eels have won 3 the last 4 against the storm Eels to win with Mahoney in time trust group yeah, they do seem to have a good knack of like running into the storm when they're missing all the good players so I think they played them at Bank West in absolute monsoon last year and they were down about 3 of their mm. starting 4 spine and won that one so maybe they could yep. cause the upset a lot of love for Patrick and the Eels tough scenes for Carl <laughs> um, my value bet I'm going Manly 21 to 25 $9.50 <laughs> very small margin mm. there um, they won the last five at home by an average margin of 20 versus the Dogs and have won seven of the last eight overall by an average margin of 25 so I'm really just mm. I went hard on stats this week I think there's still a few Manly players who aren't a big fan of the guy in the coaching box for the Bulldogs, so if they get a chance to rub it in, they'll... Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, bonus back, you got a different bet? Yeah, Broncos 1-12. to I think they beat the Cowboys, but could, you know, Bron Broncos games have been pretty low scoring, so it could be another arm wrestle. Yep. Uh, I went bon uh, Roosters 1-12 to tonight. Uh, mm. 288. I think it'll be a, a tight one. Uh, you got a same game multi for us. Yeah, going for tonight's game. It uh, could be pretty high scoring, as I said. So just check in along with David Nofaluma, Adam Pompey, and Reese Walsh. All anytime try scorers in there at nine bucks. Yeah. I'm similar, I've got Warriors plus three and a half. Pompey to score, Nofaluma to score, and over 32 and a half. Mm -hmm. 750. Uh, what about a multi buster? Uh, sticking with the uh, try score multi buster they went for last week. T two guys, three out of the four scored, but only one of the four was awarded the try after the bunker got involved. <laughs> so, hoping to get a bit of a bunker break this week. Uh, Nofaluma starting off, then Tedesco later on tonight, Isaac Targo against the Knights, and Xavier Coates for the Storm. 25 28 for that little multi. Wow, Larry. I only uh, have to land one of them all season to be up, so <laughs> I'm just going to keep going for it. Uh, I'm just going simple. Warriors, Roosters, Panthers, Storm, 584. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any bonus bets you want to give away? I haven't. I was looking at my notes, so I'll have to. Rod Thomas, Walsh to score a double into the Eels, 12 and under. Go on then. You have a $10 bonus bet, Rod. Nice little four legger from Corey Wheeler here. Roosters, 13 plus, Knights, uh, minus 12, or 12 and under, sorry. Eels, 12 and under, and Turbo, two tries. So that's definitely worth a ten dollar bonus bet. There so you go. That. Alrighty, let's go to everyone's new favourite sport, Formula <laughs> One. Uh, massive, Ferrari massive back. week last week. Yeah, good. Uh, Mercedes finished higher than Red Bull. Mm. No one finished for Red Bull. Ferrari back. Uh, Haas back. <laughs> yeah, Gunther. <laughs> Magnussen. Wow, who would have thought? What are your What are your big takeaways from last week? Yeah, I actually don't think Mercedes is as far off as we think. Like they they weren't matching it race pace wise with the other two, but it looks like the car once they just get the porpoising issue sorted, it's 
it's got the sort of speed. Yeah. So, yeah, look for Lewis bit to be there or thereabouts. Straight. And then I think we do have to give Ferrari the benefit of the doubt. Now, that's not really a hot take. They finished first and second in the race. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not it's not a thing. They're going to they're gonna have the money to throw out the development in season, so they should be able to keep pace with the other two this year. And, yeah, I think it's just going to be a good title fight th- with three teams involved. But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this week, given what was the second last race last mm. year and we're straight into the second race this year it was absolute carnage yeah last year uh, about three or four different race starts very tight track yeah. max uh, trying to run Lewis off the track yeah, yeah. Uh, i think you know first five or six drivers in the market are in it this week mm. there could be a few more crashes and yeah, it's a very fast a sort of a lot of high speed corners so it does mm. lend itself and it being a street circuit as well with no runoffs that's yeah safety cars always a good bet Matt Hayward, ten dollar bonus bet for you. George Russell to take the win, first race done for the new team, ready to win now. There you go, Matt. Don't mind that. Uh, all right, let's go uh, some betting. Unless mm-hmm. you've got any other nuggets. No, no, we can go straight into betting. I can cover them there. Sweet um, race winner, which also covers the uh, bonus back if they finish second, third, or fourth. There you go. Same as last week, so follow with caution. Hopefully they figured out how to get the fuel from their fuel, fuel tank to the engine, which is a key part of having a cargo. But um, I think Max Verstappen at 250 is the value again. Yeah. They're right there with uh, Ferrari, so I'm going to you know, t- take the team with a longer track record. Yeah, I think that 250, he's, he's the bet there for your main bonus back bet. I agree. I've got Max uh, at 250 as well. Top three finish. Lewis Hamilton is 360 to finish on the podium. He was four mm. bucks last week. I think yeah, that's uh, that's uh, there's less sort of straight line speed required here, so that, I think that brings Mercedes into a little bit. They will have obviously not a lot of time to make changes to the car, but they, they'll have got closer. Yeah, I just think, and yeah, sort of add in the factor for a bit of carnage on the street circuit. Yeah. 360 looks like a good price. Lewis should be able to stay out of that. So, yeah, you know, I had I had Hamilton circled also um, Perez at three dollars. Mm. I think it's pretty good value too. Uh, fast some practice. Just going to have a couple of shekels on another Haas driver, Kevin Magnussen, fifty-one oh, bucks. Hello. <laughs> it was it was was it Gasly who was fast in FP1 last week? So I don't think that yeah the the big boys won't won't be completely tuned up by then. Gunther will be loving his uh, moment as he probably have the next Netflix cameras in the garage this week. He'll be <laughs> swearing his face off and yeah it'll be, be all great stuff. Um, well, breaking news. Looks like I just won a golf multi. How good. <laughs> Uh, I did have uh, I'm just going to stick with Max $3 I think he'll want to come out and really sort of stamp his authority on this whole weekend mm-hmm. um, yeah and have you got some value in a race winner well Lewis at 10 bucks is pretty good value I think yeah yeah yeah. I, I, Lewis also but I thought signs, signs as well mm-hmm yeah, he Seven he was like very negative about his whole weekend. Said he couldn't get the car going at all, and was still second. And yeah. he had his terrible record at Bahrain. So yeah. I think he will be close to Leclerc. Could see him certainly being the better of the Ferrari drivers this week. Yeah, uh, Corey Thrussell, ten dollar bonus bet for you. Max first, George second, Lewis third. That'd be all right. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go to Super Rugby. Um, crowd's back. Yeah. Get, um, get the zoo back in action tomorrow, hopefully. So Very excited about that. Yeah. Uh, how much do you think that will play into the results of these games? Oh, I think the Highlanders need a lot more than a few fans behind the posts, do they? to be honest. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, bit of a weird one few teams got a few games to catch up with mm. how how do you think that affects does that affect their preparation at all week to week yeah well they're going to have to rotate guys so the teams with the better depth like the Blues Crusaders and Chiefs are going to be the ones who are benefited so it's just going to really make the, the rich richer in that sense like once they sort of get through COVID hopefully and get back to full strength those teams by far have the sort of mm. strongest second and third choice players at most positions the Blues in particular their backline depth is crazy the Chiefs have it seems like 23 all black forwards or something like that on the roster so yeah I think it'll just help those teams and the teams who are struggling to put together sort of solid 15s will just be mm. more hurt when they have to play these midweek games we can't be um, we can't be too far away from the amalgamation the yeah, super. What was it Magic Round in Melbourne? The, yeah. yeah. If, if you ordered Magic Round off Wish, 
<laughs> That's a good one. Um, Mateus Daly, Hurricanes should be a bit rusty and should still beat Moana Pacifica, but I'm going 1 to 12 at 650. Mateus, you can have a 10 on bonus bet for that. Uh, Alex Shepard, Crusaders, Pat's favourite bet, 11 to 20. Not this week. Bonus back. Oh, bounce back, sorry, against yeah. the Chiefs, paying 550. Love it. I don't know about that one, Alex. You can have a $10 bonus bet. Um, Favourite game of the week you're looking forward to? I'm guessing Chiefs yeah, Crusaders. Yeah, Chiefs Crusaders is going to be great. I'm very excited for that one. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. I'm actually looking really looking forward to the draw against well, yeah, the Rebels again. They're underdogs, so yeah. of course I'm looking forward to backing Sick. those underdogs against the Rebels. Yeah. yeah. No, I love watching the draw play. Uh, Rebels looking for their 11th straight... Well, trying to avoid their 11th straight <laughs> loss. Um but I yeah. think they could be in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's go betting, eh? Because yep. we've still got some NBA to chat about. So, best bet. Drew it. $2.10, head to head, easy as. Same. Boys are vibing. Uh, value bet? Uh, Chiefs 1 to 12. I think, yeah, get yep. a bit of bonus back. I do think they should be favourites for this game. It seems like Crusaders are still dealing with a bit more COVID situation than they are. Crusaders have a bad record in Hamilton. Yep. Chiefs 1 down in Christchurch. Yeah, like it. Um, I found a power play for tonight's game, the Hurricanes, which I really like. I think, I think what's the the point size about thirty and a half? Yeah, it was twenty eight and a half when we recorded Pick and Go yesterday, but it was getting bigger. So yeah, I don't know if I don't think it'll be that big, but Hurricanes to lead by one to fifteen at half time, and win by sixteen to thirty, mm-hmm. five dollars. Yeah, I don't mind that. Especially that. getting the 1-15 to 15 in the first half. I do think it could follow the sort of typical minor Pacifica yeah. script that we're expecting. It, just the presence of like Artie and Ryasi and Ruben Love on the bench do, it does make me think the Hurricanes could blow it out a bit mm. later if things click. But yeah, I do think minor Pacifica can be uh, competitive, particularly up front in the first 40. Yep. Uh, what's next? Bonus back. Reds 13 plus. Oh yeah, Waratahs Waratars. have rested a few guys. So I think they're, they're playing the draw next Old week, move. which is probably a, an eighth place playoff in, in a lot of ways. So I can see, yeah, yeah them running away without Tate McDermott back at nine is huge for them. He's captain and really the heartbeat of the way they play. Yep, uh, I've gone Brumbies one to twelve. Mm-hmm. Uh, could be quite a tight one. Same game claim. Uh, yeah, tonight. Tonight. Jordy Barrett, Peter Aminga Jensen, and the great Braden Yosse all to score tries against Moana Pacifica, six dollars fifty. We've got Moana Pacifica plus twenty and a half. Uh Almoa score mm-hmm. a try and Jordy to score a try. Ten bucks you get for that. It's nice. And a multi buster. Uh yeah, what do I got here? Drua head to head, Brumbies head to head, blues minus eight and a half, and the reds head to head, six dollars seventy two. Oh, you didn't have to put that in there. Well, I mean, needed something to bump up the price. I've got uh, Moana Pacifica plus 30 and a half. Drua head to head. Brumbies head to head. Reds head to head. 6.54. Like that? Yeah. Mm. Um, alrighty. A couple more bonus bets to give away. I feel like we're giving away a thousand bonus bets today. Uh, I like this one. I hope I get this right. Hudza Ho- Sorry. Rudza Hawa. Roosters 1 to 12. Warriors 1 to 12. I hope that's a little multi there. Ten dollar bonus bet for you. Nice little multi as well here. I think Harry Galbraith with Blues thirteen plus Chiefs one to twelve. Like both of those. So yep. Have a ten dollar bonus bet for that. And Daniel Young giving us the um, perfect segue into <laughs> NBA. Boston peaking nicely. Tatum on song. Even when they rest, rest him. Sorry, their bench is still performing. That yeah, is very true, Daniel. And you can have a ten dollar bonus bet. They what? They are playing a lot of good basketball. They are yeah, getting a lot of hype. Um, on to NBA. Bit of movement yesterday. Mm. Or the day before in the uh, outright market. Yeah. Why? Sort of, well, it's starting to sort of reflect what, what it was in the preseason. Obviously, Kyrie's going to be able to play home games now. It seems like Steph's going to be back for the playoffs, but we're not quite sure. Golden State's still very short in mm. outrights, considering that. But I, yeah, I have no idea who's coming out of the Western Conference. That's a complete raffle, it seems like. Phoenix. Chris like, Paul back today. Yeah. like the, You can see why they're clear favourites, but... It's yeah, it's not a price I'm rushing into. I'm still very happy to just ride out with Milwaukee. The seven bucks they haven't really moved for a while. They're just biding their time, giving mm. everyone plenty of rest. They'll be as good as they've be, ever been in the playoffs. I like the four dollars for Phoenix. I like it. Big on them last year. Big mm. on them again. 
Um, uh, anything to take out of your boys yesterday? No. That, that, up. that happens at every second heat practice by what you hear. Like that's, when you've got guys like that on your team, that that's like the whole, you know. You, I thought someone was going to throw a chair and we were going to be looking at WrestleMania. If that were, if it was like some, you know, Jimmy on the Timberwolves or some team that didn't have the personalities to deal with it, you'd be worried about it. But with Pat Riley and Spolstra and UD there, it's not, not a concern. Not concerned, folks. Do not worry about the Miami Heat, Pat says. Um, games today. Big games, actually. Suns Nuggets. As I see, Chris Paul's back. Mm-hmm. Raptors Cavs, both sort of playing off for that, fighting off for that mid table. Yeah, Raptors could jump um, out of the play in if they yep. win that. So that'd be huge for them. And even Pelicans Bulls to a point mm-hmm. is is pretty big. That top six, I think, in the East is pretty much set. Yeah, well, the Pelicans mm-hmm. they're locked in a battle with the Lakers for home court in that nine ten game. If the Lakers have to win two mm-hmm. games on the road to even get into the playoffs, I'm very mm-hmm. excited to hear LeBron's thoughts on the playing tournament now after he was not a fan of it last year yeah be interesting the um yeah i'll leave i won't say that <laughs> um jeremy kerman it's not very nice the bulls are pretenders We've got a few guys out They've had a bad run they'll be back look i'm not saying that they're pretenders but i'll just give you a starting the 0 and 12 against the top three teams in the east head to head this season well i'm going to give both Jeremy and Tiffany a ten dollar bonus bet. One saying Bulls are pretenders. <laughs> the other, Tiffany, Bulls to make the finals. I like that. Um, I don't know if they will, but I do like that. Just to make the playoffs would be a good start, given the mm. uh, it's, it's been tough, tough fun, years we've yeah. had. Tomato Rosen is just a lot of fun. To, he is. Yeah, not playing today though, unfortunately. No. Um, all right, should we get to... <laughs> WWE bonus <laughs> yeah. I would love that that would be great um, we get to some betting yeah I've only written one down because uh, I ran out of time so okay. I'll throw to you after my bet but I've right. just gone Phoenix as my best bet today oh, yeah. Yeah. can I make Milwaukee to win the title my best bet can <laughs> well I will <laughs> but I've also got one for today if they d- people don't want to have to wait three months to get the cash <laughs> Nikola Jokic over 26 and a half points against Sid Sons he's you know he's really stepped it up this month he's averaging 29.4 game points per game in March and has gone over this number in three of his last four with the Nuggets you know really having to claw to get out stay out of the play and he he has to pretty much carry the team and yep. I do like the matchup against DeAndre Ayton like not not the whole overall match up for the Sun for the Nuggets against the Suns, but that that is one area where they can exploit. So Jokic should have a huge game. Don't know if it'll help the Nuggets overall though. Nice. Um, anything else you've got there? Um, oh yeah, I like just got a little same game claim here for Stephen Adams is meant for Grizzlies. I think they're taking on Indiana today, who are resting everyone or just tanking. It seems like so. Still, Grizzlies head to head. You're not getting much for that. But then Chuck Desmond Bain twenty plus points and. Big Steve to have 10 boards and get three bucks for a pretty tidy little same game claim there. Nice. I well, don't actually know if it's the same game claim, sorry, but it is a same game multi. Um, Anthony Romano is all over Stephen Adams too. You can have $10 bonus for Anthony. Steve Adams to drop 2020 for Kenny McFadden. Mm. I hope so. You'd love to see it. Um, cool. We'll leave it there. Big show. Uh, there is cricket on tonight. Well,. Mm supposed to be I think it's raining or very wet yeah that's uh, it's, a, it's a heavy tin at Tauranga tomorrow so that doesn't I don't think you can play cricket on a heavy tin yeah dropping the artificial <laughs> yeah. bit of tape on the ball and we'll see what happens so Trent Bolt <laughs> launch them off an artificial sounds dangerous yeah, uh, yeah. if the Black Caps play then mm. it should be there, there are a few good power plays in there I was having a look before so that, that's yeah uh, have, you can have plenty of fun with that even though the head to head odds aren't too too close. Dollar six. Yeah. Uh, any two Netherlands players out bold? Give me some of that at two fifty. Any three Netherlands players out for a duck? Three seventy five. Wow. Yeah, plenty of good power players there. Go check them out. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you for joining us, Pat. Thank you for another. Always a pleasure. In depth preview of what's going on. I try to cover everything. It's hard. There's a lot happening. Um, we will be back next week, uh, bigger and better, hopefully. And uh, we'll see you all then. Enjoy the punt. Cheers. Cheers, fellas.